All right, guys. Let's talk about the network marketing industry and how it works. So as a lot of you guys know, all these products, nutritional products, supplements, skincare products, they all cost about eight to $12 to make on average, right? But companies are selling them for $60, $80, even over $100, so they can pay out a lot of money in the compensation plan. Does that work? Well, it works for maybe 1% of the people who are actually making money in the company. Kind of works for another three or 4% who are making a little bit of money or making enough to cover their monthly product expense. But 95% of the people in the company who get in for the reason of making money, are making little to nothing. Haven't signed up a single person, haven't sold a single product. Some of that's their fault, some of it's not. I mean, it is hard to sell a product for 60 or 80 bucks when your friends can see a very similar product on Amazon for half the price, right? Let me put things in perspective for you. What if everything in your life was network marketing? What if everything had a compensation plan? And what if you made money every time you referred anyone to anything? A restaurant, a movie, a hotel, the grocery store, right? Let me give you some examples. (laughs) What if your friend told you about where he goes to get his haircut? And normally a haircut costs 15 bucks, but because it's network marketing and you need that six to eight X markup, you're gonna pay $80 for that haircut, so your friend, the person who referred you to that barber, can make a $20 commission, right? I mean, would you pay $47 for a cheeseburger so your friend can make 12? How about a can of beans at the grocery store? Costs $1.50, but because it's network marketing, it's gonna be 12 bucks. But hey, your upline is gonna make five bucks on it, so it's okay, right? No, it's not okay. I don't understand why in every other aspect of our lives, none of that stuff is okay. But somehow in network marketing, it's accepted that you're gonna overpay for products. It's just, it makes absolutely no sense. You've got people at the top of the compensation plan driving around in brand new Mercedes, you got company owners posting pictures of flying around in private jets, and then you've got single moms struggling just to make ends meet, trying to make a little bit of extra money, and buying an overpriced product just so the owner can fly around in a private jet, just so their upline can make 50 bucks on them while they're making nothing. Guys, it's time for a change. This industry is broken, and we're gonna fix it.